Hey, welcome back fellow experimenters. Glad you checked in. Um, today we're gonna unbox a flat panel Tesla core, so let's begin. Open the box, and that's what it looks like. Let's check this thing out. So here it is out of the box, and I plugged in the, the power adapter in the back. Here's the power adapter, which is a universal switching power adapter. It comes with some neon bulbs. I already dropped one on the floor, so be careful. But here's one of them, uh, different types of uh, neon bulbs. And then it's got like a, a breakout point, which you have to have connected before you use it. And that just screws here. It's just like a, basically a pin that screws right to the top. The whole unit itself is really compact. The flat panel corners on the top. And it looks like it's got controls. It has, they're written in Chinese, but this one here is for pulse width, and this one's for frequency. And it has a button, left lower part of it, which is for music or for sparks. So it's a fairly basic unit. It doesn't look like it's got a ground connection, which surprised me. And I don't see a ground connection on this adapter. So I think it's probably using some sort of uh, uh, virtual ground, you know, just a piece of flat metal inside the unit for the ground. Um, uh, I was a bit surprised by, by that, but nevertheless, we'll try it out without any connected ground. So let's, uh, let's uh, turn it on and see what happens. It produces really beautiful plasma arcs. It's amazing. Here's a tiny fluorescent tube that came with the unit. It's really quite a strong electric field, as you can see here. You can do different effects by changing pulse width and frequency, as you can see here. Here's thermal imaging. It doesn't show a lot of heating. It looks like the peripheral part of the pancake coil which is the part of it that's nearest to ground, has heated up a little bit, but it's around 20 degrees centigrade, but not a lot of heating, which is great. Now we're gonna switch it to music mode here. So it's now on music mode. That little light there is a the Bluetooth. So here it is connected to the Bluetooth. So, here are some of the files. I'm going to just hit one and see what happens. So in summary, this is a really nice unit, works well, reliably, and it does play music, although it's kind of limited in terms of what type of music files it needs. It kind of needs uh, square wave MP3 files, and they do supply those when you buy the unit. But there are also uh, some websites where you can download multiple square wave type MP3 files, which are worth checking out. <laughs> 